<coughs> yes. There's Bond. James Bond. I need to get across there. Yeah, you see the thing is, uh, I need my hammer to fix it. Can you, uh, can you find it for me? I'm busy. I don't find hammers. I work for the MI6, for Christ's sakes. Hey, uh, yes. Uh, you did. If you want to cross, you need to find my hammer. Bloody swim. Jesus. There's something quaint about Bond's first outing on a Nintendo handheld device. If not for the cutesy sprites, then for the fact that Bond himself is the same size as a Wizard of Oz munchkin. Drawing heavy influence from the seminal Legend of Zelda series, 007 sets out on a globe-trotting mission to prevent a mad Russian general from instigating a nuclear war. On your quest to stop the impending Armageddon, you, as Bond, will fight your way through a black market, locate the missing 008, and uh, help some Chinese guy fix a bridge by locating his missing hammer? Other areas are pure Bond, playing Blackjack and Baccarat at the casino, paying a visit to Q Branch to be loaded up with cool gadgets, and taking on classic Bond villains in the form of Oddjob and Jaws. The RPG elements work well, in fact, only being able to use two items at any one time makes you plan ahead and use a bit of strategy now and again. The game is not long by any stretch, but is ideal for bite-sized chunks of handheld gaming. Mixing Zelda-style RPG with the Bond franchise always seemed a bit odd, but it works. It just works.